From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Chances are you've already heard of the internet-based activist group called Anonymous. You may associate them with the iconic mask popularized in the film V for Vendetta. This group first grabbed widespread attention by launching attacks against Scientology in 2008, and in the years since they've taken aim at everyone from private corporations to entire governments. Anonymous is a leaderless resistance, and it's alternately described as a superconsciousness, a group of disgruntled malcontents, or an amorphous group mind. In its own words, Anonymous sums itself up this way. We are Anonymous. We are Legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. But there's one question on everyone's minds, from Anonymous's supporters to the governments and corporations trying to arrest them. Who exactly is Anonymous? Here's where it gets crazy. Let's start with a website called 4chan. 4chan was created in 2003 and designed with anonymity in mind. The creator of 4chan, known as Moot, believed that users should be able to make anonymous posts. This way, comments would be judged on their merit alone. As a result, many of 4chan's comments were made by anonymous users, and anonymous itself became a group term for users of the website. Although that's how the group began, not all anonymous members are on 4chan. The group's membership spans the net and there is no single leader. Despite this structure, the group is still able to coordinate its actions. As this group evolved, it began to focus on what the media describes as hacktivism, a combination of hacking and activism. This emphasis on the group rather than on individuals has made it difficult for law enforcement or privately hired lawyers to take action. And Anonymous is not a single group. There are other groups associated with Anonymous, such as LulSec, AnonOps, AntiSec, and more. While numerous individuals have been arrested, no one person appears to be at the core of Anonymous, and this decentralized nature makes it extremely difficult to extinguish the group by shutting down individual forums or websites. This anonymity has also led to a number of conspiracy theories. Some internet users have accused Anonymous of being in cahoots with the Illuminati or the New World Order, arguing that the group exists as so discord in contemporary society. Others have argued that some world governments created or co-opted Anonymous, using false flag attacks to sway public opinion in support of tighter internet controls. It's also interesting to note that the same accusations have been made against WikiLeaks. At this point, there's no proof of these claims, and most people believe that Anonymous is comprised of hacktivists and their supporters. So what exactly is Anonymous supporting? Often, the efforts of Anonymous focus on opposing censorship, and they have taken on everyone from India to Apple. Their strategies include DDoS, or Distributed Denial of Service Attacks, and Strategic Leaks of Classified Information. To opponents, Anonymous is a criminal organization. To supporters, Anonymous is one of the only forces capable of combating the increasing top-down control of information in the media and online. Regardless of your opinion on the issue, it is true that governments across the planet are taking action to gain control over information on the internet. At the most basic level, Anonymous is a group of unknown people, often with divergent goals. But, in the case of internet censorship, it's clear that Anonymous can agree with itself on one goal, to expose the stuff they don't want you to know.